So my name is Abby Stevens. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. So throughout the pandemic, throughout the past couple years, I've been dealing with a lot of health issues and I felt incredibly isolated. I didn't know anybody that knew what I was going through. It felt like I was just in a world of my own. I immediately thought, I bet there are so many other people in this world that also feel isolated. I found miracle messages and I was matched with Bruce and we clicked immediately. We clicked immediately. So I'm a very outgoing person. I'm a talker and Bruce is as well. And he's even more energetic than I am, if you can believe it. And behind it is one of my originals. Again, this is an original on uh, 4x4. Like that. And the reason why I, I, I did like that because it gives it that 3D effect. Because I'm a 3D artist. <laughs> so my stuff is in dimensions because you can count, you can count the dimensions. Like 1, 2, 5, 6, 15, 17, 18 dimensions. So what makes it 3D is because throughout the canvas, you have to go light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, like that. I figured out myself, nobody told me. So once I figure it out, that's how I do everything now. It's light, dark, light, dark, and it pops out. And last night, look, I did this piece last night too. It only took me like about 15 or 20 minutes to do this piece right here. It goes like, like that. And on the back side, it has my flag, Belizean flag. <laughs> So Bruce has shown me the importance of having a consistent friend in your life. I mean, do you want me to read the message that he sure, said? Or? Sure. He said, you're a blessing. I love your young, open mindset. And then he messaged knowing that I was nervous about my interview today. And he said, I pray that your nerves are calm. You got this like ice cream. <laughs> love you. Yeah, he's a sweetheart. Thanks. Yeah. He's truly my friend. It's, doesn't feel like I'm a volunteer. He's genuinely my friend. Yeah, because we talk weekly and we text and everything like that, you know? And I met her husband and Dylan, he's an artist too. Chell, it's just, he's just my friend. I mean, right. I don't want him to feel like I'm this volunteer who's doing a good deed by being his friend. We're just friends. I just happened to make a friend through this program. So I received an email from Miracle Messages and they said, here's this new concept called Miracle Money and feel free to send us information about your miracle friend and then maybe they'll end up getting selected. Before I could even ask Bruce for information about him that I could send to him, I got an email saying that he had been randomly selected for the Miracle Money. and. They told me, they said, we want you to be on the phone when we tell him. So I coordinated a time with him, I coordinated a time with them, and we were all on the call together. And they told him, and he was just thanking them over and over and over, and he was just so grateful. And after the call ended, he called me and thanked me. Well, like I said, they, made, they gave me a contribution, about 12 months, which really comes in handy, you know, because I was telling them I can go to the laundromat every, every week now, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a starving artist, I can have more than one meal a day, you know? and um, buy some supplies and do more art, you know? So like I said, Miracle Friends is like a blessing to me. Bless me with, you know, this monthly income that they give me, contribution for like 12 months, you know? Stories, we all have these unique backgrounds. Just some of us deal with housing insecurity. We all have different challenges in life. We all have differences and some people are unhoused and that doesn't make them any less deserving of happiness or health or food or safety. Um, or medical care. But it's all it's all good with me. <laughs> as long as I'm leaving something behind, you know. I don't want to, like my father, you know, just dead and gone. That's it, you know. Any abandoned his family, you know. That's why I broke the cycle. I was here for my son, gave him direction, you know. And I told him about how my life was, you know. So he don't drink, he don't smoke. He's straight square. Because he had a, a father there to give him direction, you know. I didn't have a father to give me direction, so I had to run the streets and be a, be a bad person, you know, for 24 years to finally realize, you know, this is all wrong. <laughs> There's more to life than just running the streets and don't care, you know? Yeah, you got to care about something. There you are. Thank you. Josh, which one you want? I'm going to change the frame right now for you, for too. Sure. incredible program to get involved in. You really, really should. I just got a new miracle friend and she's amazing. She's such a sweetheart.